and you hear me talk about the Mandela effect all the time, blasting off tons of them. This to me is my number one. Now I understand this isn't number one for everybody. For, in fact, more people, are, and my number three is everybody, is not everybody's number one, but when I ask people what their number one is, there is only, there's one answer that gets more answers than anything else by far, without a question, and that's Ed McMahon working for Publishers Clearinghouse, which we can get into another time, but he's from my hometown, and this has even surpassed that for me. The reason why. For me, the way I came into Mandela Effect, and just researching topics in general, I started with 9-11. That was the big one for me. Now, I'm not going to touch on that topic on this channel, because you guys know what happens to me. But I was immersed in that, in that information, as much as anybody probably walking the face of the earth. I'm not even trying to be arrogant saying that that's the truth. Even if I'm, I might not be right about all of it, but I immersed in that information as much as anybody. I've seen it all. I've seen all the documentaries as you have, but I've seen much deeper. I've seen all the talk and all the forums, all the Skype calls we had, all the shows we've done, all the conversations had with supposed this person, that person, this expert, this expert. What you would always hear <coughs> on 9-11, in the days after, months after, years after, is 9-11 was the second foreign attack on U.S. soil. Pearl Harbor being the first. Also, people in the 9-11 Truth Movement, we would talk about things like Project for a New American Century, where they said they needed a new Pearl Harbor. Now, I know that's not as definitive as the other ones, but the other ones specified first and second. This was repeated in every documentary. Always on the news. Because, you know, the news was 9-11 coverage for years after it. That's all they talked about. All they talked about was Pearl Harbor being the first, 9-11 being the second. Now, here's the problem. That's no longer true. Not, not only is that no longer true, well, how can it not be no longer true if that was the first and the second? You're not saying the third. No, now that's not the first and the second, and it never has been in this reality. Because now, even though I've never heard of it, and you can say, oh, Brian, just because you haven't heard of something doesn't make it a Mandela effect. Have you heard of this? No, you haven't. So shut up. So this, this event now in 1916, two German spies snuck in through New Jersey, blew up a munitions depot on Black Tom Island, with a hundred thousand pounds of TNT. In today's money, it would have been an estimated five hundred million dollars in damage. People want to say they just swept this under the rug and we didn't hear about it. A hundred and twenty people injured. Some of the estimates differ on the injuries and the death. A handful dead, five, six, seven is the reports I'm reading, including an infant that was picked up and thrown from the explosion, landed in the river and drowned. You never heard of it. All right. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for the history lesson. We learned something new today. That does not make it a freaking Mandala effect because you didn't hear the shit. There's tons of stuff you didn't hear of. <laughs> Have you heard uh, in 1959, the CIA kidnapped, hijacked a Russian satellite overnight and then brought it back? Probably not. Mandela effect. Get the fuck out of here. Okay? And so explain this for the one you hang on to so tightly. You're number one. You're number one because you researched 9 11 and it never got brought up. Well, no shit. Do you think they're really going to bring up that little event in 1916? over Pearl Harbor when they're trying to pump Pearl Harbor in people's minds connecting the two? Do you think they gave a shit about Black Tom in 1916? No. So your Mandela effect is shit. Oh, I've... Uh, 9-11 so deep I would have heard it. No. Mm-mm. Sorry. So explain this. How do you explain, what did the devil insert this movie from 1939? Okay? The shit movie from 1939, the devil insert this, the clown, the Mandela effect. Get the fuck out of here. Black Tom debunked and destroyed. Good night.
2,000 injured, American working men slaughtered at their benches. Is it part of our job, Mr. Secretary, to stand by and do nothing? Officially, our relations with the Imperial German government are friendly. And yet we are being attacked, not by troops in uniform, but by an internal army of spies, saboteurs and propagandists. Are the victims of the Black Tom explosion any less dead because their blood was shed unofficially? That is something Congress must face, Mr. Corbell. It is something Congress should have faced long ago.